Today, we're going to turn Mewtwo inside out, starting with combos first. I'll be covering the plethora of setups he's capable of at various percent ranges, most of which are true combos, then finish off talking about other tricks he can do. So let's begin. When your opponent is at low percentages, between about 0 to 30, the easiest combo to pull off is jab, down tilt into a jump cancelled up smash. For those who don't know how to do a jump cancelled up smash, simply dash forward, press jump then instantly hit up smash. An even stronger follow up is down tilt, full jump forward air into a fast fall forward air. You must be as close to the opponent as possible during the first forward air or else they will be able to avoid the second one. If you happen to land an up air at the low to mid percent range, Mewtwo can combo into the two setups I've just mentioned, or simply an up smash depending on their percentage. Jab and down tilt in general are among Mewtwo's most effective combo starters. They can lead into many of the things I will be talking about throughout this tutorial. Next up is neutral air. Now I'm not talking about the full move, rather the first half of it. If you short hop forward with a neutral air and fast fall it around the halfway point, the opponent will plop right in front of you and most importantly with their back turned towards you. The fast fall timing is a bit specific and will take some practice, but if successful this leaves the opponent with enough time for only two counter options, either shield or sidestep. If you predict they will shield, simply grab. If they don't, then initiate your combos. The wonderful part is that this Nair setup works exactly the same at death percent, which of course can net you an easy kill. Another move that can combo at any percent is Mewtwo's up tilt. Up tilt at low percents will bring the opponent right in front of you, which allows you to follow up with something quick. Though what makes this move incredible is the fact that it has very little knockback, even when your opponent is at high percentages, meaning it can true combo into an up smash, which makes it an extremely potent kill setup. Now this kill setup works on a majority of the characters, however there are a handful where it only works when their body is in a low position. For example, if you up tilt Lucina during her down tilt, it will work, but it won't work if you do it during her standing position. I've included more details in the description, so check that out if you want. The rear part of Mewtwo's up tilt doesn't have this property, but depending on DI it can still combo into an up smash at low percentages or an aerial at mid percentages. As for Mewtwo's dash attack, you can either follow up with an up tilt or a jump cancelled up smash depending on where they DI. This only applies at very low percentages of course. For those of you who still aren't satisfied with all these combos, Mewtwo has some very interesting footstool ones. But before we get into it, you need to know that Mewtwo can instantly cancel his double jump momentum with his disable or shadow ball. I'll be referring to this as his double jump cancel. The sooner you do it, the more effective it is. So I recommend changing one of your shoulder buttons to jump, so that you can cycle between jump and special instantly. With that explained, near 0% following a down tilt, jump forward, footstool, double jump cancel using his neutral special, then release a shadow ball as you land. If done correctly, your opponent will get locked, allowing you to follow up with whatever you want. Here's another setup. Anytime your opponent is at about 50% or lower, you can double jump neutral air into a forward air or back air depending on which way they go. This works from a footstool as well. If you happen to land a grounded footstool, instantly double jump with the neutral air. If done correctly, Mewtwo will carry them into the air the same way. However, this footstool double jump neutral air setup doesn't work against some characters. Down air is another follow up Mewtwo is capable of after a grounded footstool. This one is a bit easier to pull off since you do not have to perform an instant double jump after the footstool. This down air setup can potentially lead into a neutral air or an up air which can result into further combos. And again, this doesn't work on every character. Last but not least is a footstool double jump cancel using disable or shadow ball which can lead into combos or a kill. Unfortunately, some characters are immune to footstool disable as Mewtwo will land behind them. Now let's talk about stages with platforms. Mewtwo has a few lock combo setups. Back air and neutral air are two practical initiators which you can follow up with shadow ball or forward tilt locks into whatever you want. To wrap up, here are some miscellaneous tricks. While holding the ledge, you can potentially catch your opponent with an instant disable or shadow ball. To do this, simply jump, then double jump cancel using one of those specials. 
You can also drop off the ledge, then instantly use Confusion if they're hanging by too close. Confusion is generally an awesome move, because it beats out Shield. Another neat trick Mewtwo is capable of is edge cancelling his teleport. It can be done in the air by aiming your teleport towards the edge, such that he slides off. This can be a great tool for mind games, once mastered. Well guys, that's all for my Mewtwo tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you have a blast with this new Pokemon. So until then, I'll see you guys next time.